Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back here with my weekly wax update as usual. So I'll go through everything that I've met, I finished this week and then um, everything that I started this week. So it's really cold, um, it's like depths of winter cold at the moment which is a bit extreme. Um, so I'm going to try and probably get through this because I don't have a heater, well I do have a heater up here. My heater, my heater that I had in my office last year broke. Um, and I've just bought a new one this weekend because it, the end of the week last week was really cold up in this office. But it, the fan is just a bit loud, so I don't think I can run it um, while filming. So, anyway. Um, okay, so things are finished. First up, Soup Tarts for Zeus. This one is coffee, vanilla ice cream, blueberry, and cornbread. This is still one of my favourite coffee scents because it's not... Like, this is not, like, excessively coffee. It is a really delicious blueberry bakery. You can definitely smell the coffee, but it's a blueberry bakery first. And you do get a bit more sweetness with the vanilla ice cream. So, I've loved this one for a long time. I've gone through clams and clams of it. Probably haven't melted it as much recently, but I kind of need to get a move on with it because I do have more clams of this and I don't want them to sort of you know, go old, and it's always a good time when I melt this one, and it always throws really strongly. So, like I said, I've got a few, so I don't need to think about repurchasing it anytime soon, but I would. K Emerald Island. So this one was Beechwood, Vetiver, Seagrass, Emerald Agave, and Coconut Milk. Uh, this is a nice scent, but I didn't think it was any better than Emerald Agave on its own. So Emerald Agave is this beautiful, it's definitely kind of tropical island like but it's fruity um it's got kind of a like the agave it's like that kind of juicy green almost cactus like scent and then there's a slight touch of floral it's a beautifully blended scent i love emerald agave um this one like i think it added a slightly more salty beachy tone to it but i just don't think it was an improvement i think emerald agave on its own is better so it threw pretty well, but I don't think I need to get that one again. I would just stick to the Emerald Agave. Uh, K Red Currant and Ivy. So this is Red Currant, Ivy, Citrus, Peach, Pear and Plum. Pretty scent. I don't think it did very... Yeah, it didn't do very much. I melted this down in the lounge room. It's a very complex kind of spiced, fruity scent, I would say. Yeah, there's definitely warm spices to it. It's more leaning into the, I suppose, the red currant and the plum. It's pretty, but yeah, I think I only vaguely smelt it down in the lounge room. It might have done better in a bigger space, but anyway, so that one's on a repurchase. Uh, melting up here at the moment, I have L3, Mellow Fireside, Sugar, Cookie, and Espresso. Um... This one smells really chocolatey. I thought I was melting a s'mores blend up here. It could be that the sugar cookie... I just don't love that sugar cookie oil. I don't know why. Sugar cookie royale, fabulous. Sugar cookie, not so good. But it doesn't have that... I can't smell that off-putting smell that I don't like in, sugar, in the sugar cookie in here. But I'm getting a really strong chocolate note. I don't know why. So, I mean, it's, it's okay. It's not great um, for me. But... Yeah, it definitely doesn't smell like what I would have thought it would smell like. I did this sample from Soup Tarts. Do not, do not judge me. Um, this is one, and I still can't remember the notes to it. So this arrived in my most recent order. Um, this is one that I know I've seen the notes, and it doesn't look like something I'd like. It ended up being fine, but it didn't throw very well. Even though it only recently arrived, that advent order, you know, I don't know how long it sat there, actually. So maybe it didn't get enough cure time. I don't know. But yeah, this is kind of smooth and slightly nutty, but in a nice way. It's quite sweet as well. Um, but yeah, sort of medium throw at best. So I don't know if I need to purchase that one, but definitely it's not one I felt. I just had this memory of it being one that I just really thought I would dislike. Maybe it had like marzipan or almond, or I don't know. Um, and it was fine. It was nice but just not super strong. Uh, Teddy Bees Rain and Woods. So this one is Fur Needles Smoked Woods Marshmallow Fireside. No, that's not what it is. Those are not the notes. I don't know what the notes are, but those are not it. That's a misprint. Um, 
This is the second time I've had rain and woods. The first time I had it, wasn't all that wild with it, but then just kept seeing all the rave reviews and went, I have to, I must have just missed something last time, I have to try it again. I am at peace now that rain and woods is just not for me, and I am an outdoor, I love every, like a rain and woods is like my dream kind of scent in theory. But this one, in the end, it just smelled like an average cologne. Now, I know I'm probably in the minority on this. I know this one is an absolute favorite of so many people, but it just didn't smell authentically rain and woods like to me. It smelled like a body spray and not a particularly good one at that. So that's just, I know other people have feel differently and that is perfectly fine. But for me, I just, and I'm glad I know that now because it's one of those things, you know, when there's a scent that just so many people love and you just don't know what you're missing out on. Um, it also doesn't throw very well, I find. It's probably medium at most. Um, but, and because it doesn't throw super strongly, I melted it a couple of times. And I, I, at the end of it, I was always just not quite sure. Like, I didn't fall in love with it, but I didn't recognize anything that I disliked about it either. But this time, I melted it in the kitchen. I really sat with it. And I went, no, I know what it is about this scent. It's just, I know why it's not for me. I know what it's making me think and what it's making me feel. I'm good. So yeah, Rain and Woods, not a repurchase, but that doesn't mean that you should still try it because other people really love it, but for me, it's just not. Bonfire Nights from Teddy Bees. So this one is Bonfire Cashmere Vanilla Sandalwood Roasted Marshmallow. This is another one that I feel like I should like more than I do. I don't mind it. And I actually, I bought this one it was poured in November last year, so it would have been the pre like the last pre-order for last year. And I bought another souffle in the ready to ship because I really did think that this was going to be an absolute smash for me. All of the notes sounded good. But it just doesn't quite get there. I think it's the cashmere in this one that doesn't work because there is definitely a body care-like aspect. Like, I think for me, I really wanted bonfires and roasted marshmallows and sandalwood. That's what I wanted. But the cashmere, I think, comes through quite a bit. And it does make it smell very body care-esque. I do like cashmere in a blend sometimes. Like, I, I enjoy it. But this one, I just feel like it kind of muted the things that I was thought I was going to really enjoy. So, medium-ish to high throw. Um, but not something I would repurchase. I will be fine melting the next souffle though. Like I enjoy, it was fine. It's a nice bedtime. It's like nice for the bedroom. Um, but yeah. Britta's Creepy Treasures Casey got gutted. So this is Ozark Forest Roasted Pine Cones and Palo Santo. Um, this is a really nice scent, but really all I can smell is the Ozark Forest. Um, I really wanted it for the roasted pine cones. I love roasted pine cones, but it just does not come through here. Um, I think there's a slightly extra woodiness from the Palo Santo in this, so I don't think it's pure Ozark Forest, but pretty much it's just that really sharp, you know, foresty pine needle kind of scent that is Ozark Forest. So, or fir needles even, more than pine, I'd say. So, look at me being like, thinking I'm an expert on tree smells that I've never even encountered. Um, so yeah, this one, I think I have another shape in this, but it's not going to be a repurchase. Like, I just, I love roasted pine cone scents. I want to be able to smell roasted pine cone when I get them. This one, though, this one's good. So, Weekend with Papa from Teddy Bees. This is Salty Sierra Vanilla Bean Noel Toasted Marshmallows blended with roasted pine cones. This one is beautiful. I can smell the roasted pine cones. I love roasted pine cones. I think it's a really underrated oil. To me, it is a relative of vanilla balsam. Like, they both have kind of like a gourmand vanilla-like aspect to them, along with like their naturally kind of tree vibes. And then this one just has like extra sweetness from the vanilla bean knoll and the toasted marshmallows and the salty sea air just... Salty sea air and roasted marshmallows, fab... oh, sorry, um... Roasted pine cones are fabulous together. So I love Weekend with Papa. I have more. I have another souffle. Probably, it was a souffle or a tub? I think it was a souffle. Kind of wish I'd gotten a tub, I think. But anyway, it's fine. I love it. And it does throw pretty well. Um, Empire, no, Ebony Violet. 
Blackberry Amber. So this one is Juicy Blackberries Caramel Vanilla Amber and Musk. So I love Blackberry Amber. I've had it from multiple vendors now. I had it from Rose Girls. Was it Rose Girls first? No. Sassy Girl Aroma. And it wasn't just Blackberry Amber. It was Blackberry Amber and Rain. And that smelled really, really good. Um, but I remember it was mostly the Blackberry Amber that I was impressed with. So then I got it with, from Rose Girls and realized, yes, love that Blackberry Amber oil. Got it some Ebony Violet. And I have some more from Scoopable now. It always smells the same. Like even the Sassy Girl Aroma version with the rain. Yes, I could smell the rain, but it was definitely that Blackberry Amber. Oh, it's so polished and pretty, but it's Blackberry-like as well. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. It always goes really well. I think when I start melting, because I've been sitting on that scoop from Scoopable for a while, so I should start melting it soon, I might actually try blending it with rain again, because that was one of the things I wanted to do, was replicate that scent that I really enjoyed from Sassy Girl Roma. But it's also fabulous. Solo, love that. Always a repurchase. Doesn't matter to me which vendor I get it from. I'll get it from whoever has it. If L3 has it, that's great, because it's just cheaper to get single scents from um, L3, but not fast. Tea Time Tarts, um, Butternut Pumpkin Coconut Buns. So this one is Sweet Pastry Dough Filled with Pumpkin Coconut Puree, Coconut Shreds, Cinnamon, Nutmeg and Clove. Uh, I put this on. I don't remember it doing much, to be honest. Like, I put it on up here this morning. Granted, I didn't come back much, but I know I was sort of hovered around. Um, came in a couple of times. Didn't really smell much from it. It smells like it would be nice and not too spicy, like... A warm kind of sweet pumpkin scent with a little bit of spice but yeah the throw was pretty light so I wouldn't get that one in. And then the last empty before I move on to everything else was this loaf of southbound Christmas tree cookies. So this was pine, fresh lime, cardamom, pepper, delicious frosted sugar cookies. I feel like I've been working on this loaf forever. I think I may have got it at the end of 2019. It was either the end of 2019 or 2020. It was during one of the uh, Black Friday sales where she did like 40% off. She doesn't, she didn't do that last year. Um, but previous year she's done 40% off. So it was definitely, at best this was poured in late 2020, but I feel like this was, I bought this in my first year of purchasing wax. So I think it was 2019. Um, and it still performed, it performed really, really well. It's a gorgeous, um, like pine cookie scent because it does have like it has that kind of creamy cookie sweet pine thing that a lot of scents have going on but just the pepper and the lime just zing it a little bit not excessively they're not like you know really strong notes in the blend but compared to some of the others they just liven it up a little bit so I do really enjoy this one um it just it's very seasonal so it's taken me a long time to melt through it um I would, I reckon I would probably get it again, but definitely not a loaf. Like, I would get, like, a clamshell maybe once every other year at most. But, yeah. All right. So, let's get to the everything else. So, this is, so the stuff I've got to go is either stuff that I melted for the first, open the bag or the clam for the first time. Um, or there might be one or two things that I blended for the first time. So, the first thing is scoopable. Bonfire Smoked Peach. So this is Bonfire I'll blended with peach. Um, this one is nice, but it's not really bonfire-ish. It's mostly just peach. And it is a very good peach. It's a very realistic peach. Like this genuinely smells like just a peach that you have bitten into. Um, I can smell the slightest hint of smokiness on the edges on cold and it was the same on warm, but you really have to be thinking about it and looking for it to find it. Um, if I wasn't looking for it, I would have just said this is a straight up peach. So it's good, but I didn't want just peach. I wanted it to be smoked. So maybe I'll blend it with something smoky next time. Very strong throw. That was very, very strong. Uh, not a repurchase because obviously I wanted it to be peach. Uh, Super Tarts Rainforest. So this one used to be Vision. Uh, so this is Ozone Sweet Amber Musk Lavender Fern. This one is still one of my favourites from Super Tarts. Oh, it is just so gorgeous. Um, 
it's crisp and fresh and herbal. Um, her fern is a really underrated, fantastic, like, green scent. It really leans well into herbal type scents, so I think blending it with the lavender is just fantastic. Her lavender, like, I'm not one for, like, lavender dominant blends, but a little bit of lavender in something like this is really, really nice. And then there is a slight perfumey twist, but to me this is more just kind of complex herbal, almost, it's almost floral, but not, it, it's more just like the, the greenery around, you know, like if, I don't know, I, I feel like it, smells like you've walked into like a greenhouse and you're growing really gorgeous ferns and maybe a few flowers sprinkled around but not many like it's stunning really really good um it always throws really well for me i will always repurchase that one it is just an amazing scent white pumpkin amber from k so i bought this one because there are a few blends that have white pumpkin and amber as notes that I really enjoy. One in particular is Rocky Horror from Super Tarts. So I was kind of hoping that this might be a portion of that blend. I don't think it is. This was probably the strongest, spiciest pumpkin scent I have ever encountered. The spice level was off the charts in this. I did have to turn, I had this on in my bedrooms and I had to dump it out because there was no way I was going to be able to sleep with this scent going. It was so strong, but I feel like I probably have encountered vendor blends that does use this scent, um, possibly even some of the like charred pumpkin scents that I've had from like Empire Alchemy, and I've loved those. I don't know, it might not be the same, but I feel like a dab of this, and I mean a really small amount, blended with like Palo Santo or Marshmallow or other stuff you could create I feel like you could actually create an awesome blend but this would definitely need to be very much dialed down from what this smelled like just melting it on its own so I might play around with these last two cubes maybe like half of a cube or less um, in blends because I do think it could I think it could be a really nice complex heart to a blend but on its own no not for me Super Tarts Shepherd. So this is Clementine Fresh Balsam Strawberry Moss and Marshmallows. I have gone through, I think, a bag of this and possibly... A I've already gone through at least one clamshell plus some more, I think. Um, this was a scent from her advent calendar, not last year, but I think the year before. It's, it's amazing. Something about it, it's just so well blended. Like, it's mossy, it's fruity... It's tree-like. I think the marshmallows just maybe balances out, like, nothing else in there would add a huge amount of sweetness, but the marshmallows kind of chips it in. Oh, it's really amazing. Like, it's the kind of scent you, you wouldn't, no matter how I describe it, you're not going to know <laughs> unless you smell it. Um, I don't think, I think that one has come back in, like, it came back in Chris Melts last year, so it might come back for Chris Melts this year. If it does, highly recommend getting that one. It is fantastic and it throws really strongly. Um, I melted La Push in my lounge room. So this is Raindrop, Sage Leaf and Orange Peel. This one I'm really starting to enjoy. Um, it's it's a really beautiful rain scent. And even though it says rain raindrops, I feel like it does smell pretty similar to just the rain oil that she uses, which I love. Like, I love the kind of muted citrusiness that you get from the orange peel, the herbal tones. I have something, a bag of La Push Plus Fresh Start, and I don't even know what Fresh Start is, and I even I prefer that one even more because it's super vibrant and fresh but still has this beautiful kind of citrusy, muted citrusy herbal rain thing going on, but this one is still really nice and it threw pretty well. Autumn Splendor from Super Tarts. So this one is Marshmallow Fireside and Palo Santo. When I tell you how surprised I was that this one was absolutely amazing. It is so simple. But I actually haven't had marsh just Marshmallow Fireside and Palo Santo on their own before. I have had those two scents in blends with other things plenty of times. 
but never just those two. And in particular with this one, the Super Tarts Palo Santo is, it is particularly incense-like. Like it has just that warm kind of almost sandalwoody, I don't want to say spice, but you know, when I compare it to like Palo Santos from like Tea Time Tarts or Teddy Bees, theirs is woody, but it doesn't smell quite as incense-like and it almost has a creamy quality. I love their Palo Santos too. I probably prefer that in a lot of different blends, but this Super Tarts one is really growing on me in specific blends. And this one was just it. Like the Palo Santo really popped, but then you got the absolute smoky sweetness from the marshmallow fireside and it was just I feel like this combo would probably not be as good with a lot of vendors just because the super tarts oils for this was just perfect um so I adored this I definitely want more of it I think this was something she added to the range last year so it should come back we'll need a lot more of it I can could possibly blend it um, but because I, I do have Super Tarts, Palo Santo, I don't have the Marshmallow Fireside, but I could, I don't know. Anyway, loved it. I'm really strong. Okay. Um, Fierce from K. So this is the Abercrombie and Fitch type. Um, citrus, Amber, Lavender, Woods and White Musk. So I've enjoyed this in blends. Never smelled it on its own. But I do really like it. And this is coming from someone who doesn't generally like melting typical cologne-like scents. And it does smell like a masculine cologne, but... This one's just kind of fuzzy. I like the citrus to it. Like, it's sort of fuzzy and warm and comforting, but there's just a little bit... Gets, you know, just gets... zhuzhed up a bit, I guess. So I really enjoyed this. I, I wasn't sure how I would go melting it solo, but I really enjoyed it. And it was really strong. Um, I would get that again. I would get it to blend with and I would also melt it solo. Super Tarts June Grass and Waves. This one is June Grass Fresh Air White Cap Waves and Cedar. Love this. This has been a long time love for me. Um, Super Tarts Earthy and Outdoor Scents are just some of my favourites because they smell legit. <laughs> like, they don't have that kind of, this is like, this is a cologne that's been created to smell like the outdoors. It smells like, like a, you know, enhanced kind of strong version of standing on like a sand dune and there's like wind whipping around and all of that. Like it just, that smells so good. So I definitely would get more of this and it definitely throws really strongly. Sage Blackberry Palo Santo from Super Tarts. So this is one, it doesn't perform super well and I still don't understand it because it smells really strong and cold. The Super Tarts sampler that, have, that she did with Palo Santo, I found that that does a couple of decent scents, but that did not perform as well overall as I had hoped. And it's weird because... Other blends she's done with Palo Santo have been fantastic, like the Strawberry Pound Cake Palo Santo from that sampler, amazing. The Autumn Splendor, but the, yeah, the, the actual Palo Santo sampler didn't really, mostly didn't do it for me. This one smells very herbal, a bit sweet from the Blackberry, and the Palo kind of gets lost. I mean, I can smell it there, but I just feel like the sage is quite overwhelming and it just didn't quite work. But then it doesn't throw very well. So I don't I don't know what happened with this one. And I had the same experience with the Shot Cup too. So not a repurchase, but it's, it's fine. It smells okay, but don't love it. Klaus from Super Tarts. Love that label. So this is Teakwood Blackberry Fresh Balsam. So this one is a fantastic scent. I have had this before. Oh, it's so just the like juicy fruit, really strong tree notes. And the teakwood is there, but teakwood can be it's it's one it's not one of my favourite woody scents, but I can't smell anything overly teakwoody here. So I think it does add some depth to the blend, but it doesn't overtake, it doesn't overwhelm, which I love. So yeah, I love this one. It will always be a repurchase for me. Not in huge quantities, maybe one clam every Christmas, you know. Blended two of 
it's two of my favourite oils from Super Tarts together. So Rain and Four Leaves. So Four Leaves, if you haven't had it before, it's incredible. Just super crisp and fresh and... You know, it just doesn't have the same tones that a lot of leaves oils do. And her rain is incredible as well. I need to blend more with her rain because I bought so much of it that I just don't want it to go bad. So those two just absolutely beautiful for this time of year. Fresh, fall-like, amazing blend throws really well. And uh, Super Tarts Krampus. So this, I think, may have been my favourite scent of the week. Um... This one is Salty Sierra, Pink Sugar, Patchouli, Black Pepper, and Vanilla Bean. So the Patchouli, Black Pepper, Vanilla Bean, that is like Lord of Winsor Um, And I had this scent once before, and I didn't, I didn't mind it, but I didn't love it. But this time, and I don't even know why, this is just everything I want to be melting right now. It's definitely got that Lord of Misrule heart, but then, I don't know, this... The sweetness and the pink sugar and the salty sea air just combined, because I love salty sea air with sweet things at the moment, it was just warm and comforting and creamy but spicy and different and it was amazing. So I really, really enjoyed this one. Threw really strongly. Definitely, I wish I had a lot more of it. I might see, because there's no chance, because I really want to be melting that scent this winter, but I'm not, like, the chances of Super Tarts pouring it and then me getting it, it's just not going to happen. So... I might see if I can get something like that poured from like Pumpkin Parcel, my kind of local custom source, because she would have those oils and she might be able to do something that it probably won't be the same, but it'll be close enough, you know? All right, so it's clamshells, and now I have a few bags of things that I started. Uh, so Super Tart Spice Pumpkins, Pumpkins, uh, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Trail Edge Cake and Cinnamon Donuts. So I've said this once, I've said it a bunch of times. Spice Pumpkins is not the right name for this scent. Um, I, on the scent list, I mean, I think I've committed it to memory now, but I glossed over this one so many times because I hate, well, not hate, but I really don't generally like spicy pumpkin scents. So a scent called Spice Pumpkins is something that I feel like I would probably not like. But this used to be Hotel Cortez, and I love Hotel Cortez. Hotel Cortez is not a spicy pumpkin scent. It is a warm, rich bakery. It does have some hints of spice from the dot cinnamon donuts and pumpkin pecan waffles. I mean, it's more kind of syrupy than spicy, but there's a richness there. Um, but then the trailage cake is just that kind of real creamy bakery. And together, this is just bakery heaven. It's just a perfect bakery blend. You know, and Soup Tarts, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, she has a lot of blends with it that I don't love, but this one is just incredible, and it always throws pretty well, it's, you know, maybe medium high, but it does the job. Um, so I love this, but the name just doesn't suit, so it's fine though. Um, and yeah, so I got a band bag in Wax Wednesday, so I could just always, you know, so I could have plenty of it, because it is one of my favourite bakery scents, and yeah, but I would get it again. Started melting from the advent calendar, so I did December 1st, which is uh, pecan regula cookies, cinnamon charlotte bread, brown sugar, harvest ale toffee frosting. So when this was melting down, I was a bit concerned because the harvest ale, which I do love, but the harvest ale came out really strongly against maybe the toffee and it just, I wasn't loving it. I was kind of hoping for a really rich bakery scent with a pop of uh, with a bit of sweetness and a pop of the Harvest Ale. And melting down, it was, yeah, the Harvest Ale is almost coming off a little bit sour, sweet sour, you know, like kind of like a cider can sometimes do. When it melted down, though, it was really nice, but the Harvest Ale kind of died off. Um, so it was a warm kind of sweet bakery, not too sweet, bordering on too sweet. Um, so it was not bad, but... I was kind of hoping to really love this one the way I love birds, which is like Harvest Ale, Buttercream Frosting, Pumpkin Donuts, blah. Um, and this one wasn't as good as that. So I'll still melt it and enjoy it this season. It threw pretty well, but it didn't wow me. Uh, I also did December 2nd. I'm not melting them through in order. They were just the two that I felt like melting this week. So 
Nectarine grass, ivy, musk, bay leaf, fall leaves, and birch. I think I went for this one because I also melted that shepherd scent because that has also um, like fruit and yeah, anyway. And this was really pretty. I really like this one because it's this one has a lot of different um, things as things that I love about a super tart scent. So like the ivy is another great out you know outdoorsy scent. Full leaves, like I said, love that. The nectarine in here, it's subtle, but it just lifts the blend a little. So it's kind of woodsy. It's kind of grassy, but not in like a real fresh cut grass way. It's more like a dried grass in a way. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed this one. It threw pretty well. Possibly a repurchase. I have to mount it a bit more to, you know, decide if it really was worthy of that. Sparkles, wax melts, marshmallow, fireside, pumpkin, cum, waffles, cream, and vanilla. I ended up um, taking this one out because it really did not smell like much at all. Smelling it cold, I can mostly smell a light marshmallow, a pumpkin cum waffles with like creamy vanilla. But the pumpkin pecan waffles almost smells milky and on warm there was really nothing there. So and this one has sat for a while because I ordered it maybe six months ago or more. So not a repurchase, probably not going to bother melting it because it just it really didn't smell like anything. And I did this one from Sparkles Wax Melt which was jam o jam which was fresh bread and raspberry jam. I didn't like this one either. So I haven't quite figured it what it out what it is yet, but there's something about certain bread and jam scents that smell really bad. <laughs> um, I don't know what it is. Like it gets this kind of alcohol like sourness. And I don't know, because I used to think it was the bread. I used to think it was the yeast in the bread that I just didn't love. Um, and it could still be that. It might be that there are some bread oils that just have this yeastiness that I just smells really off to my nose. Um, but I found now there's a lot of bread oils that I do enjoy. So it's not all bread oils. The other thing is that it could be the jam. And I thought that with potentially strawberry jam, because strawberries are so fickle for my nose, some of them smell really off and chemically and stuff. So I thought maybe it's the jam. Um, and again, that could be the case because I've had the sim I've had similar issues with raspberry jam. Some vendors, it smells delicious and sweet and beautiful. And other vendors, the raspberry jam, it smells kind of alcoholic and sour and off and chemical-like. And this has that tone, but because I've just, I've run up against bread and raspberry jam scents, but never together. I've never done a raspberry jam and bread scent together that had that. I don't know. <laughs> like, I just don't. So yeah, I did, I don't like it, won't melt it again. Don't know why. It's my nose. I know, I just know when things smell like that. I know that it's not the scent. I know that that probably smells like bread and jam, raspberry jam to somebody else and smells really good. But that to me smells nothing like bread and raspberry jam for me. It was quite strong, but no good. Uh, Ebony Violet Milk and Cookies. So this one is warm vanilla sugar cookies and milk. Um, this one, it was okay. It smells super nutty on cold but I don't remember that on warm but I think it didn't throw super well yeah I don't remember much from this I got kind of a creamy vaguely cookie like scent which is probably for the best because it's super like creamy and nutty on cold which I don't love so probably not a repurchase I'll try it again though uh the huntress from empire alchemy so I have had this one before but it was a long time ago Pear, pomegranate, blood orange, pine, woods, marshmallow, fireside, and Lord of Misrule type. This was one of, there's so many scents with Empire Alchemy that I can sort of point to and go, oh, I think that's what made me fall in love. But this one was really one of the first, one of the early scents that I just was wow, absolutely wowed by. Like, it is an incredible blend. Somehow you can smell all of those things, but nothing is overpowering. Just the beautiful combo of the fruits, like the citrus and the slightly sweet pear, and the way they sort of riff off the Marshmallow Fireside and the Lord of Misrule. It is so, so good. And it is just absolutely beautiful for autumn. Like, so just the right, absolute right combo of kind of woods and pepperiness and fruit. And just without being too sweet or too sickly or too woody or too anything. It's just incredible. So, 
Throw is a solid medium. The only thing I'd say about this blend is I do wish it would throw better, but it's still amazing. I would still repurchase it. It's really, really, really good. Uh, melted some more ebony. Well, some more. I opened this for the first time. You need a coat from Ebony Violet. So Boom Boom Cream and Rosewood Pinecone. I've had shot cups of this before. Um, I love this one. Again, Roasted Pinecone is one of my favourites. The Boom Boom, it does make it a little bit more body care like, but just because I love Roasted Pinecone so much, I feel like I'd melt it, as long as you can smell it, I'd melt it with just about anything. So I really do enjoy this one. And I think the Boom Boom works. Like I just feel like Roasted Pinecone in like a body care scent would smell really good. And that's kind of what this is. So it works for me. Um, throw medium to high. Still a repurchase. Like, I just really enjoy it. Uh, the last scent. I don't really think this one through. Uh, em Empire Alchemy Wise Old Owl and Headless Horseman. So Headless Horseman is a beautiful. Um, it's like charred pumpkin, dry sweeping leaves, amber and santal. I think something else. And it is gorgeous. It's just this beautiful... It does smell like charred pumpkin and complex woods, santal, I think, um, and s like dry leaves. And I don't know what Wise Old Owl is, but I don't think I like the combo as much as Headless Horseman on its own. It's kind of got almost a very woody cider in there, but I don't think this through. Like, I think it was really light, if at all, because I do not remember it. It was in the bedrooms. It might have thrown really early on and died. I know by the time I went to bed, there was nothing there. So not a repurchase, unfortunately. That's it. That's everything that I melted this week. Um, well, everything that I either started for the first time or finished. Um, I'll leave it there because it's cold in here. I hope you're all doing really well and I'll talk to you all again soon.